15 arrests in total. 10 veterans, 5 civilians were arrested. And what were the charges? Uh, we all got charged with disorderly conduct. But like I, like I was telling you before, uh, yesterday I actually met, Chris and I met with two detectives from the Nassau County Police Department, a Detective Thomas and a Detective Robert Anisi. And we spoke with both of these officers yesterday, and we made them very, very uh, well aware of what we were planning on doing today. Uh, we said, yes, uh, we will be attempting to cross police lines, but we will be 100% nonviolent. Supporters will be 100% nonviolent. There is no need for any type of escalation. We will resist absolutely no arrest. And they said, well, I'm really, really happy that, um, that we had this conversation so we could clarify this, so we can make sure it goes smooth and the like. And then today um, they proceeded to brutalize my friend Nick Morgan with a horse. Was that one of the people who was hospitalized? Yes, Nick, oh, Nick okay. Morgan is a honorably discharged combat veteran of Iraq with PTSD and they brutalized him with a horse and then tried to prevent him from going to the hospital. We were standing right on the bus, uh, they brought him on, he, was, he had a bandage on his face, he was completely messed up, uh, he was incoherent and, uh, and, and all of us, uh, you know, just being, being trained veterans, knew how to recognize yeah. the fact that this man was, was, was suffering from a concussion. The cops were having none of it, they were like, no, take him to jail, take him to jail, and, and we literally had to advocate for Nick Morgan to be taken to a hospital. Finally they agreed and they took him and then they, and then they brought him back over here to the station while we were all locked up inside to a bench and the police were harassing us. Uh, they brought Nick Morgan in with his, with his face all fucked up and uh, proceeded to uh, mock him and mock the entire situation and say that it was our fault that his face got messed up. As I said, when I, when I started demanding names of the officers who were involved and who were making these, these awful statements to us, they refused to give them to me. Uh, this is by far the most unprofessional police department I've ever dealt with. And I am an individual who wants to support the police, who enjoys coordinating acts. I approach these things from a very professional standpoint, and, and these cops today acted like children. They acted like little children um, with their taunts, their attitudes. They, uh, they, locked, <laughs> they, they locked three of our, our, our female uh, participants to a bench and then proceeded to sit and, and well, what I perceived as sexually harass them for five hours while we were sitting there. Uh, all of us made comment on it. So uh, guys these guys were terrible. These guys were really, really dreadful. And you know, I gave, I gave massive props to the Denver police after our actions oh, yeah. there. And I even gave massive props to the St. Paul police after our actions there. The Nassau County Police Department is tore up from the floor up. So you guys were detained for about five hours, is that correct? Yeah, we were detained at seven and I got out uh, just maybe a half an hour ago. Oh, okay, so you guys were arrested just like about 7.05 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, we were arrested when we when we crossed police lines. Okay, and, um, what is an, ex what an example of some of the comments the cops were making while you guys were detained? Well, for example, uh, one large a uh, police officer in a, in a green civilian shirt uh, while we were sitting there in the, in the, in the in processing room. He looked at me and he said, hey, he said, I can't wait for you to get in the back. They're going to pop your cherry. Yeah, he said that to me. They're going to pop your cherry. And every single person that I was sitting in there can, can collaborate that account. He threatened me, an honorably discharged combat veteran, with anal rape for no apparent reason. The uh, female detainees, were they people that have served as well? Yeah, well, one of our... our female veteran that we were locked up with, uh, Marlisa Grogan. She's here, actually. Here, I'm going to actually put you on the phone with Marlisa and, okay, and let her cool. give it to you in her own words. Hello. So when you were uh, detained, what were some of the things the cops were, were saying or taunting you with? Well, um, they were just being disrespectful. There was one comment made like, oh, how's the GI Bill for you? Just um, not at all respectful of veterans or the service that one of them said, but Got, um, got their fucking education paid for. So comments like that were the most uh, frustrating. And other than that, I mean, it was just overall comments about the war, things like that. Or